crafters um happy father's day to um all those fathers out there and um happy father's day to those who are expecting to be a father um i don't think aaron will mind this is my vr for uh aaron who is queenie e here on uh youtube and um but um i just wanted to um uh, show you something really quick um, I made some little file folders. Uh, sorry, I had to go get one. I forgot to bring one over. And I, um, I made these little file folders like this. And um, they're not really very big. Like you can see, they're, um, they're fairly small. But it's kind of... Um, cool to hide stuff in them and put them in the back pocket layers. Well, um, here's how I did it. This is a um, camera die from the Stamps of Life. Um, I get their um, die, um, their, st their stamp and die um, set, and I also get their um, card kit every month and um, I can't remember which one this came in but um, that we had a there was a camera and um, so I don't know it was probably in the die stamp kit but anyway so I took this and I don't have my big shot here with me but what I did was um, I lined the paper I put the paper down and I think, let me think, I used, uh, uh, I think I used 4x4, four four, a 4x4 four four piece of paper and then I just laid it down, the paper down so that um, it didn't cut the top so it was, it just came, actually I just brought it up to the, um, the uh, bottom of this and I just laid it down then I you know I taped it down because um, I don't have a magnetic platform and um, that's all I did and I just cut them out and then of course they they just became a little file folder which is they're you know I think they're kind of cute um, you could decorate them if you wanted to um, I've been kind of busy so I haven't done any decorating but I think I will probably eventually decorate um, some of them but it's a great way to use up some of your scraps and you could actually do them make them with all kinds of dies you could um, uh, let me think you could probably even use the Sizzix you wouldn't just you wouldn't have the top part but anyway neither here nor there um, so Erin, uh, like I said, who is Queenie E, she is having a pocket letter invasion giveaway challenge. And the end date is July 22nd. Uh, you must be a subby. It's open to U.S. and international. Um, you need to post a comment on the video, um, on her challenge video, letting her know. Um, that you will uh, be entering because then she'll PM you um, her address or you know ask ask her to give you your address if you don't have it um, and uh, it's just to make a pocket letter any style and uh, she wants your YouTube name birthday mailing address favorites such as color and style and so on in the back so Erin's favorite color is purple so I chose to do a purple pocket letter and the papers I use are, I'm not sure what line they came from because I just have a lot of um, cardstock that has, I have shared with my daughter and so I have no idea um, who it was from but I'm trying to use up that stack. Um, anyway, I just love, I love this, this paper. Um, I, I, I'm guessing it's probably a DCWV because they tend to have all these really bright, beautiful colors um, in their um, paper line. Um, it just happens to be one of my very favorite paper lines. Um, it's because I like bright, bright, fun, bright colors. This first one 
I um, just put this beautiful um, purple butterfly and then over here I um, I used um, a, just a plain piece of um, cardstock and I put this purple and white polka dotted um, glare sure is bad isn't it? Purple and white polka dotted uh, washi tape and then I spelt out T and then over here I put uh, some, I don't know if you can see that, right behind the bow there, across here is, um, I've had this in my stash for a long time, it's, it's sticky back ribbon. And um, so I put some sticky back ribbon and then I put this purple and white polka dotted bow and this um, really pretty green, um, uh, uh, aluminic type, oh, I can't, it's not the word I want, foil type, um, uh, flower. And then on the next one, oh, and I put this beautiful, um, I tied it with this beautiful purple and white daisy ribbon. <clears throat> so, and then this one, um, I put this, this is a cutout that, I like to save birthday cards that I get, or, you know, I've, I, I got a slew of cards uh, when my mother-in-law and my mother passed away they had and I just cut out um, ones that I liked and um, this was a cutout that I did and this is a um, Prima antique mirror the center I chose not to um, here I'm gonna put this on this make it easier for myself um, in the center, I chose not to put anything because I just love that beautiful piece of paper. Over here, I put this sticker and it says friends and it says 50% caring, 30% trust, 10% laughter, 10% patience, washing warm water. And I thought that was really cute. And then over here is... Um, a little mirror. Um, I bought a package of them at Hobby Lobby quite a while back. And then here is some uh, more of that more sticky back um, um, trim, but this is more of a, um, a woven um, trim, like a, oh, anyway, it's it's very pretty. <laughs> and then in here I put. Um, this bird and a couple bird eggs that she could use. There are stickers that she could use. And then over here I put a uh, dragonfly sticker and some little purple uh, felt flowers. So anyway, that is my uh, entry into, um, I don't show the back because I want them to be surprised, but this is my entry into Erin's um, challenge. I hope you like it, Erin. If you don't want to see it um, beforehand, you don't need to watch this video. But everyone, please go over and check out um, Queenie E. That is her uh, YouTube name. Go check out her um, channel. She's a very sweet lady and um, just a lot of fun to watch. Check out her channel, her giveaway, and um, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. Bye.